hi guys i went to pre-mark my name's fawn this is my channel and it's a happy place where i do lots of shopping and unboxings and all kinds of everything so if you think you might like it please do give me a thumbs up click subscribe and leave a comment now apologies in advance for this one guys because this has been in a bag for about a fortnight now um i went to pre-mark shopping about three four days before i went down with my cold hadn't got around to filming it and it has sat in a bag <laughs> haven't even tried it on so there it is there's going to be creasing issues let's put it that way but i can't wait to try it all and see what it looks like so i'll give you a quick run through no i won't i'll go straight into trying them on and we can talk about them when they're on my bod <laughs> see you in a minute so first up is a glorious little dress for 15 pounds it's cotton ladies so it is Oh, so breathable <laughs> I'm hot I'm suffering I still have the cold or rem remnants of the cold you know, my only question mark is whether it's too pastel for me but I am loving it so I'll give you a, a it's got tears going down it now the other thing is it is a genuine wrap let me see if I can show you without showing the world my drawers but it is a genuine wrap so you would have to be a little bit careful you know you just put your hand down don't you when the wind blows um i think it's really really pretty and for 15 pounds i want to come in and show you the pattern close to hopefully that is focusing it's lovely it's peachy pinks it's got touches of purple touches of lavender i mean it is very very me it's my neck is straight it's usually wonky on the wonk as they say um I really like it and I think this one will be staying because it can't, a 15 pound, it can't be beaten and it is so soft and so breathable and so, yeah, so me. Okay, next dress. This one was 13 pounds. Now, it's got elasticated three quarter sleeves, which I'm pulling up as you know, I almost always do that. The only thing I really don't like about it is it is very high necked, which is not, oh, hang on, I wonder if I can undo that. It's got a little button. Mmm. Yes. Oh, now, look, it's, it's changing. I'm preferring it because it's not quite so high now. I mean, it just gives that hint. It's all I want, just a hint. It's completely loose and flowy. It's 13 pounds of cotton comfort in just the prettiest colourway. Um, I don't know, you know, woman of my age, too old for these kind of colours? I don't care. I think this is really pretty. I feel pretty in it. It's a barbecue. It's in the garden. It's having fun. Um, being comfortable. Putting on big granny knickers so you're not bothered if the wind blows. Or if you're saucy, putting on your tiniest thong so that when it blows, you give everyone a treat. But for me, it would be the granny knickers. In fact, I was looking into getting some of those ones that have got like shorts on them. So I would feel completely confident because I've got a few short things. And I do, yeah, I do have a few issues about showing me nini to people. So anyway, that's, I think, lovely. And 13 pounds. I mean, come on. It's value all day long. Next up for nine pounds is this little blouse. I think it's lovely. I bought it oversized, ladies, so please be aware of that. This is a 20, I believe. Because it had buttons down the front, I was worried about it pulling and, and not being nice. It's nine pounds. I love the peplum on it. I've put it on with some shorts. I'm not sure that it works with shorts. It might do better with sort of cycling shorts or leggings because if you can see, it comes right below my bum, so it would be a great cover-up for leggings or cycling shorts. But you know, even just in my shorts, I like it. Uh, I think the colours are really cute. It's a soft off-white, and then it's got this little peach stripe going through, V-neck. I mean, I think it's great. This shirt is the bomb.com. It was seven pounds. It's proper long, you know, it's got the the tail at the back that you want little slits at the side so there's some movement there button through roll sleeves i wish it wasn't roll sleeves but on a shirt it tends to be what they look like oh i might need to do another button up i'm not entirely sure 
are doing, just to be on the same side, don't frighten the horses. It's seven pounds, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted this for, for wearing with my jeans, tucking, not tucking, really doesn't matter in a shirt like this. Very, very lightweight, very, very cotton. Again, it's that slightly off-white, I wouldn't call it cream, off-white, and this time it has a tiny little blue stripe going through it. I love it. Seven pounds, again. Do it in other colours and I'll buy it in other colours. This t-shirt's horrifically creased, God love it. It's been in the bottom of the bag. It was four pounds. Look at the colour. I love this colour, I think it's great. It's v-neck. It's one of those, um, is it tensile or something? You know, not cotton. So it's really soft and very, very drapey. Turn around. It's perfect. It's a perfect t-shirt. I find with places like Primark and that, most of the t-shirts will not work for me. I am too big. I, I do need this room here, but I don't want to wear the big square oversized sort of men's styles one. This, because of the fabric that they've used, is draping beautifully. It's not showing away too many of my sins. And look at that colour for four pounds. <laughs> Last but not least, for £11, was this shirt. Now, this is probably my least favourite because it's a bit short in the front and it does have the bobble. But I like the bobble, the tie. I really like the fact that it was longer in the back so it gave a softness there. Again, it's a fabulous cotton and I loved the colours. Now, it might be, uh, let's see, that I will prefer this undone. Mm -hmm. Or take the two, tuck them up in there and then just let it blues. I think that's probably how I would prefer it. So it's just blues on in slightly. It is short in the body. I mean, if I lift my arms up, I'm pretty sure you'll virtually see my tummy. I'm not entirely sure. But I love the colours on it. I really, really loved the colours on it. I couldn't resist. I've got a label sticking in me. Um, I couldn't resist. I think over a t-shirt, I mean, I might wear it with um, a longer t-shirt underneath, or I could wear it over some of my little cotton t-shirt dresses. It would work for that as well. So I am really happy with this for £11. I think it's great. So that's my Primark haul. As you can see, it wasn't a big one. Two dresses and what is it? One, two, three, four tops. It was heaving in there, ladies. It was heaving and there were lots and lots of young people refusing to wear masks, not bothering sanitising and social distancing, forget it. You know, you would literally, they would literally step in front of you to get at something you were looking at. It made for a very uncomfortable shop. Um, I think possibly I'm gonna try a different day or a different, what I didn't realise was that it was half term for the kids. So there were a lot of young mums and babies in there, which was maybe adding to the um, lack of space maybe forcing people to encroach on each other a bit more. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not blaming mums with babies. Don't think that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they were only counting the mums coming in. They weren't counting, obviously, the pushchairs. But the pushchairs take up room and they're difficult to get around. And in a place like Primark, where they do just sort of jam it in, um, it just made for a very uncomfortable experience. So I tended, well, I did. I sort of whizzed around and grabbed things that I thought I liked. So I am really chuffed that I like it all. I think this is probably the least successful. Everything else is the bomb.com. And this one, while not being the bomb, is definitely a sparkler, shall we say. So that's it. That was Primark. Uh, I'm going to take a break now before I do some more. Um, I hope you're all well and I hope you're happy and I hope everything's going well for you. I am still, as you can tell, sniffing and snuffling away with this Bloody cold. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.